So what happens when we die? The soul is now enjoying the pleasures of being disembodied and not having to schlep a body around. There's a process. How the soul detaches from the body. Because during life they become really attached to each other. And to some degree the soul never completely gives up on its body. Never. Even after the body has decomposed. And that's why going to the grave site where the body is buried enables you to communicate with the soul better than anywhere else. Because to some degree the soul is still hung up on its body. There's also the concept of resurrection. Someday that body will be resurrected and the soul will come back to its body because it never gave up on it. The body that helps you serve God has acquired some holiness that will never be lost. And the body deserves a reward just as much as the soul. Because without a body, you can't do mitzvahs. A soul cannot put on tefillin. Doesn't have a left arm. <laughs> a soul cannot eat matzah. A soul cannot light a Shabbos candle. A soul cannot go to the mikveh. So without the body, the soul can't do any of the mitzvahs. So why should only the soul be rewarded in heaven without the body when the body is more than 60% of the mitzvah? And that's why we believe that there will come a time when the body will get its reward by being resurrected, reunited with its soul, and live forever. The pleasure of being a soul is a much greater pleasure than having to carry a body around. But on the other hand, for a soul whose entire existence is to serve its creator, in heaven it's frustrated. It can't serve. It's being served. So in heaven, you are the needy one, and God gives you the pleasure and the reward for everything but the soul wants to come back and be needed rather than needy. In heaven, you're not needed. You're, you're rewarded, not needed. So the souls in heaven are waiting for Moshiach so that they can come back into their bodies. So heaven is not the ultimate goal in Judaism. It's a holding pattern. Until the world becomes a little nicer and a little godlier, the soul will stay in heaven. But as soon as the world is ready, the soul wants to come back, live on earth, serve God, because it has no ego. It doesn't want to be served. It wants to do the service. And that explains a lot of things about Jews and our psyche. We want to serve. We don't want to be served. So why is it people daven three times a day and ask God, give me this, give me that, three times a day, every day? Uh, hardly ever happens. We don't care. Because we don't ask God for our needs. We ask God because he wants us to. Like your mother wants you to call her. Now you have nothing to tell her. She doesn't care. <laughs> it's not really about you. It's about her. So when we dive and we pray three times a day, God said, I want to hear from you. Okay. If that's what you need, that's what I'll do. Will I get what I'm asking for? I don't really care. We're, we're really an amazing people. We are, we are the biggest miracle in the world. Partner with Rabbi Friedman. Visit itsgoodtoknow.org forward slash support.